Hello everyone, it's your lovely Abby Dagren and welcome back to my channel lovelies. Today I'll be continuing a series that deal with Mercury's and since last week I did Aquarius Mercury, I will continue with the Pisces Mercury. So today I'll be speaking on what your Mercury sign means or what Mercury means in your natal chart. I will be speaking on Pisces Mercury, the explanation of it, and the importance. So please stay tuned for the rest of my video. If you have not yet become a part of the Abby Dagren family, then this is your calling to do so. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so you know when I upload videos on the daily. Also, please make sure you hit that like button because I know you guys will love this video. Last but not least, please make sure you share this video with everyone you know, whether it's your friends, your family members, your enemies, or anyone who has a Pisces Mercury. Now let's get right into the video, lovelies. So learning about your Mercury, first I have to look at your natal chart. And when you look at your natal chart, it should be the third placement, so your Mercury. So you will look at that placement. When you have a sign, you will either have the Mercury of the sign before your sign, of your sign, or after your sign. For example, if you have a Pisces Sun, you'll either more than likely have an Aquarius Mercury, a Pisces Mercury, or an Aries Mercury. So those are the three Mercuries that you will have. People said there are exceptions to the rules, so you may have another one, but those are the three prominent placements you will have if you have a Pisces Sun. So with your Mercury sign, you will be able to see how you communicate with others, how you problem solve with others, how you think, your logic, and your rationality. So the way you communicate with others is something that you will look into with your Mercury sign because based off of the sign in your Mercury placement, that's the type of energy you will use to communicate with others. Up next are the problem solving. The way you look at a certain situation or the way you react to a certain situation does in a way have a lot to do with your Pisces Mercury because that's the way you're going to solve a problem. So before you even look into the problem, you're going to be like, okay, the way you analyze the situation is how you're going to solve it. So having logic is something that comes with your Mercury as well because you need that in order to go through life and in order to solve problems and the logic is also a way for you to know how you think about certain things and that is used by the sign that you have in mercury so you'll be using the same energy up next is your thinking how you think about certain situations has a lot to do with your mercury as well and your rationality is something that comes as well because the way that you rationalize situations has a lot to do with your Mercury. The way you think about it or look into something, the rationality of the situation has everything to do with your Mercury as well. So now let's get right into the Pisces Mercury. So when you have a Pisces Mercury, it does fall not only in detriment, but in fall as well. So it is a very hard placement to have. However, it can be used for the most wonderful things. And just because you have this placement does not mean that you will not succeed in anything. It's actually a very beautiful placement. So having a Pisces and Mercury, even though it can be difficult because it's basically the opposite at times of communication, problem solving, thinking, logic, and rationality, Pisces Mercury, they tend to communicate intuitively. So that's why the communication can be hard because they sometimes expect for you to know what they're thinking. And they're like, you should know, like intuitively, I understand what you're thinking. I understand what you want, but you should intuitively know what I want. So that's why it can be very hard. And the logic at times can be skewed because they do use intuition a lot to solve problems and for their logic. So that's why it is a detriment in a fall in Mercury. However, someone with a Pisces Mercury are very imaginative and they tend to be just 
somebody who you would want to be around in regards to their imagination because when it comes to somebody with a Pisces Mercury, their imagination is top tier. They think about everything, they analyze everything, and they're able to look at things from a different realm, from a different type of place. They're the type of people who are very intuitive and some people can't even say that they're very psychic because they are the type of people who will have dreams about certain things or certain situations and lo and behold it happens. So even though they may not be on the logic side in the most traditional way, but in regards to their intuition and their psychicness, it really does benefit them in the long run. Also, they're very wise people. When you get to talk to someone who has a Pisces Mercury, they could be one of the most wisest people you know. And even though at times, they do have problems with communication. They don't, what they say or what they think in their mind does not come out the way that they want it to come out. They are one of the most wisest people. When you get to listen to them and get to know them, you'll get to understand them. For example, I know a lot of people will say Sagittarius Mercury and Pisces Mercury will go well together because not, they're both in detriment. So they're able to understand each other, even though other signs or other Mercury placements will be like, what are they saying? But they understand each other. And they are somebody also who has like a prophetic voice or they are very prophetic with the things that they do. So they're the type of people who will warn you about things that happen. And you'll be like, oh no, they don't know what they're talking about. And it just happens. Like even if it's like a vision for them or, or like a dream, they just have a prophetic voice. They have a prophetic way of being who they are. They are the type of people who have a great gift for poetry as well, and they're creative with writing. So writing is something that is great with Pisces Mercury because sometimes, even though they can't communicate how they feel with their words, with writing, they can do it. And that's something that they are great at. So that's something that people appreciate because they are able to make the greatest music, the greatest books, the greatest writings, and that's something that they're gifted and talented by. They're also the type of people who speak in a melodic way or in a poetic way. So when you listen to your voice or their voice, you will like to listen to them for hours because you're like, wow, they just have a beautiful voice. They have a distinct voice and their voices are just so lovely. So people just love listening to them. They're also the type of person who wants to be spoken in a nice way because they speak to others in a very nice way. So that's what they love to hear. They love people to communicate in a way that's very nice and very respectful and very loving. And they're going to give you the same thing as well. Even though at times they can go off on a tangent because they're the type of people when they speak, they have something on their mind it's there but when it comes out they'll start speaking about other things and just doesn't connect does not the way it comes to the brain it just doesn't come out that way so maybe they may be the type of people who will go off on a tangent but just please be very patient with them and just get to know them because they're actually great people and they're very great listeners too they will never not listen to you when you're going through something because they just love listening to their loved ones up next, they can be the type of people who do forget things. They can be forgetful. They may forget where they put stuff. They won't lose it. They'll just forget where they put it and they'll eventually remember, but they are very forgetful. Which is please be patient with them. They're also someone who's very idealistic and may look at things rose-colored glasses, so they may not see things the way that they should be seen. They see the potential. They see the optimism. They're also the type of people who may be slow to process certain situations or certain things or jobs. So Patience is very needed with these signs, so it's just very important for them to have the patience there. Here are some words that really describe Pisces Mercury. They at times are comfortable with sadness and healing in the voice, and that's something that they love to do, and, and that's a way for them to get into depression, so it's important for them not to get into that sadness. They can be evasive, but they're very flirtatious people without even knowing. The way they talk is just very seductive. They have a very wild imagination. They do have a wandering mind. It's hard for them to stay focused on one thing. However, they're very compassionate, very empathetic. They don't 
tell people secrets because probably part of the time they do forget them so they're not going to be the type of people who tell your business they're very inspirational they're very um persuasive sometimes they can procrastinate but they're very sensitive and they do want to make sure everyone around them is very happy they're the type of people who are very artistic so they're very creative as well so if you want anything in regards to creativity and artisticness you can get that from them and getting to know Pisces Mercury is one of the best things that's all I have for you lovelies today in regards to Pisces Mercury please let me know down below in the comment section what your Mercury sign is that you learn a lot more about Pisces Mercury's also please let me know what trait did you learn more about the Pisces Mercury and what do you think it's a positive trait or a negative trait? If you have not yet, please make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, hit that like button, and share this video with everyone. Last but not least, please make sure you follow me on all of my social media accounts from Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Reddit, and TikTok. Make sure you follow, like, and share. And because I post a lot of things on here that are not posted here, so you're missing out on a lot. But I love you all, and I appreciate all your love and support, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, lovelies.